When you're issuing certificates within your enterprise environment, sometimes you're going to run into problems with validation. Apple has a built-in tool called Certificate Assistant that provides you several key features in both the issuance and the validation of certificates. So let's take a look at Certificate Assistant. First of all, if you launch Keychain Access, which is located in your Utilities folder, you go up to the menu of Keychain Access and you'll see Certificate Assistant. Now there are many options within Certificate Assistant that are available to you, issuing certificates for routes, for intermediates, and for individuals. We're going to start with Evaluate of a Certificate. Again, this is valuable to you in the event that you are having problems with validation of connecting to a web server, validation for email signing and encrypting. This tool gives you that ability to understand why the certificate may not be valid in this particular environment. Let's start with connecting to and validating a certificate for a website, a secure website with SSL. Let me go to store.apple.com. Here I'm going to request or ask the host for the certificate. What this will do is do the request directly to store.apple.com and pull down the complete certificate chain, then do an evaluation and tell me whether it's valid, and if not, why. So as I continue here to do this request, it's pulling the server, pulling that request down with those certificates. Again, we'll show the validation of those certs, the complete trust chain. We have the store.apple.com certificate here showing that it is valid. The signer of that certificate is the intermediate, which is issued by VeriSign. Again, this is valid. That traverses all the way back to the trusted root. In this case, again, this is a class three public certificate. Again, all three of these are valid. So in this situation, I'm getting a successful validation of the certificate received from that server. The purpose of using this kind of validation is to help you understand when that certificate is invalid. In many cases, folks that have load balancing going on for web servers may not have DNS properly configured. So when the certificate is arrived at the client, it may have received that from a server that is not configured for the same host name within the common name within the certificate. In this case, I would have gotten a certificate status of host mismatch. So let's look a little bit closer at some of the other options of Certificate Assistant. Now we just did a validation. How about physically issuing certificates? Well, Apple's made that easier for you not to have to know all the individual um, OIDs within the certificate of issuance, but giving you a template. So I'm going to create a certificate authority. In this case, I want to do a self-signed root CA but I also want to do some overriding. I don't want to use the default for SMIME in this case. And I need to know who the administrator is that's going to be handling the issuance of these certificates. So as I continue, very quickly you see here that I've got several options of certificate templates to draw from for SMIME, for SSL for the client and the server, for VPN client and server, and even for code signing. Again, these are pre-established templates that you can use to quickly issue these certificates. I also can create a website with the certificate root for clients to download and install on their machines, giving the full trust path. And finally, there are many times when you need to request a certificate from a known certificate authority. Certificate Assistant provides that built-in capability as well. So let's go back to Certificate Assistant and do request certificate from a certificate authority. Here, I'm going to do my email address. And I'm going to need to add here the CA, the Certificate Authority email address, because I'm going to send this. I can either send it directly in email or save it as a file and then send it later. So in this case, again, I can do the override, just as we spoke earlier, and override each individual uh, field within the certificate to indicate what kind of certificate I need to be issued. I will go ahead and save this particular one to disk. I can then save it to my desktop. It's going to create my key pairs, my private and public key pairs. Now I've saved it to the finder. I add this to an email message, send it off to my certificate authority, and they again will in turn send me back my certificate for use. So Certificate Assistant provides several capabilities. First of all, you can do the issuance of root certificates, intermediates, and user certificates, as well as doing the validation. And most of all, Certificate Assistant is valuable to you, the IT administrator, in that validation to better understand why certificates aren't being accepted in your environment.